Hello, my friends! It's episode two! You know what you want? You want more Order of Battle? Yeah! <laughs> I'm not really settled into this game yet, so I'm still a little bit edgy about it. Mission briefing awaits. Our next exercise involves the use of warships and naval invasions. Capture all the victory points. Once we've established a beachhead and, beach and repulsed enemy counterattacks, we must fight our way across the island to reach the final victory point in the northeast. In addition to Red Team's rookies, some units of paratroopers are also taking part in this training exercise. They are located on the Northern Island. Capturing their airfield would be a nice bonus and might even impress me. Let's go. Destroy the enemy light cruiser. Okay. We have an artillery. Okay. You can select skins. Okay, I have a cruiser, a destroyer, and an auxiliary destroyer. And 379 money points. I've heard the battleships are quite good in this game, and so I am very tempted to just go ahead and buy one. This game has a uh, land supply, naval supply, and air supply, so I guess you'll eventually fill your whole supply at some point. Let's buy a North Carolina. Let's drop in my tank. Okay, my tank actually is all I can drop in. Okay, this thing has no transport. Not sure why your artillery comes with no transport, but it would probably be a good idea to buy some transport. Okay, that is our money spent. Let's go. You can't scroll off the side, so I have to zoom in a little bit, otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. We probably want to lead with the auxiliary ship. These guys are in range. Man, the sound of naval guns is uh, loud in this game.
I'm guessing that what I'm doing here is I'm sapping their entrenchment. I think this battery sign is uh, representing f fatigue, disruption, and low morale. use the tanks until I get rid of the anti-tank gun. I can do that next turn. Boys sure do hit hard. Oh, down! Alright, that was easy enough. We have secured these port facilities and can start preparations for the assault on the next island. Additional troop transports have arrived to reinforce the invasion force. Timey. A new commander is available and can be attached to one of your units. Sergeant McNeil. Can be attached to a ground unit. Cool. Attach it to my tank because it's my best unit. It's a ship. stick our guys into transports until this is destroyed. I don't, uh, I don't think it's a wise idea to have my uh, units exposed in a transport next to an enemy ship. God damn paratroopers. No force march for me. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of that quickly. It's lurking ominously there. To the bottom of the sea, it's where you want to be, the bottom of the sea. Um, I wonder if we should go up and take that island first, if we're going to get constantly harassed by paratroopers. Clear. 
Let's just clean up this idiot behind me and we'll be uh, good to go. A fleet of reinforcements have arrived to assist in the naval invasion. It contains some units of marines and two supply ships. Enemy paratroopers have landed on the first island and are trying to take back our victory point. Wow, that's not a good start for them, is it? Okay, I just got an achievement. Grim Reaper Bronze. What? Destroy five infantry units with a single unit. Okay. <laughs> just goes to show how new I am to the game. I've never killed five units with one unit before. Is floating around. Well, most of these units are auxiliary, so I don't really care. Okay. AI is thinking. We have like 43 turns, we've got a lot of time. take some time to get my units rolling. I cannot see the uh, coastline in order to attack. not get too far ahead of ourselves. Yeah, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Okay, dude's detected. Go boys, shock and ore. Oh, that's not a good spot. <laughs> That is not a good spot for this poor auxiliary machine gunning unit.
are you enjoying the shock and awe, General? The amount of naval support I have here, there's very little hope for these guys. Uh, yeah, no, we don't want to do that. Or that. We just want them to hold position until I can provide naval support. Okay, the enemy didn't attack because it didn't like its odds. Oh no, the turn just didn't end. Alright. bring my ships closer. Okay, the bunker's completely suppressed. Two units, I guess not. I could go one for one with the artillery, or one for one with the jeep. It's a little messy, but I'm quite happy. Right, let's ruin the day of some of these units, shall we? Naval firepower alone is enough to win this. It's time to feed kills to my uh, my core units. Do 
I got no way of getting that guy. Getting landed is always the hard part. <clears throat> that guy in reach. Sweet. I know not how he survived. All right, we got some. some enemies here that we might be able to put the hurt on them. We might be able to put the hurt on them from the ocean if we go over here. Seems reasonable. position myself right next to that anti-tank gun, that would be a bad idea. Oh, they're running away. And somewhere out there is a light cruiser. is too far away to do anything. We'll we'll edge these around and then we'll go around the back and around. I don't know where that enemy light cruiser is, but it's probably guarding the uh, the air base, the secondary objective. Either way, we got plenty of turns and plenty of time, I think. Expecting anything to be there. Oh. Oops. I should probably consider just repairing this auxiliary unit just to keep it in the fight. Oh right, 
he only took one damage, that's good. Should be able to pull them back safely. One damage where I shouldn't have. Oh well, whatever. Annoying, but. Not critical or anything, just irritating. Okay, the marines are way better than my infantry. God damn. My infantry would lose that battle horribly. The marines would actually wreck. some light repairs. I should try and feed my tank that kill. Once again, I took one damage. Yeah, the old infantry unit seems pretty weak. The old standard infantry unit seems pretty, pretty tame in its capabilities. Okay. Let's see, 15 turns in. Uh, do we want to push two fronts at once? Probably not. I'd say we want to push up here, take this, take this port and take this, and then cut across here and take that.
Additional reinforcements have arrived. Use them to reinforce your main attack force or to assault enemy defenses from another direction. Oh, they're here. Oh, you're obviously meant to go after the airbase with them, aren't you? Can I get a naval... Turn around, boys. We'll send the ships up here to meet these, and then we'll go and we'll go and hit that base. This is like right next to the sea as well, so I can shell the, the garbage out of it. We'll make do with land forces only for this. Yeah, look, like the tanks get three kills here. The infantry kind of just sucks. Do I want to spend money on auxiliary forces when I could just buy my own? And I'm not even joking, I could just buy my own marines for that money. Wow, it's 15 to repair them, but it's 60 to buy my own. Let's keep it in mind. Is it worth it? Sure. I think if auxiliary units die, I will just buy core units to replace them rather than actually burning my own money. Unfortunately, I was planning to bring all my ships up this way, and thus I had the uh, auxiliaries leading the fleet. But now with these reinforcements here, I think I need to take them up this way and help win that island. Tank! straight after one of my core units. Do these guys even have any experience? Very little. It's only five prestige to repair them. So I guess that's one nice thing about infantry is that it's cheap. so little damage. Ah, 
Oh, I guess tanks are expensive. I'll go ahead and repair this so I can both dissuade this tank from attacking it and also put more hurt into it next turn. Okay, there's a bunker there. That's going to that's going to stall progression. Okay, I think I need to purchase my own set of marines. Sweet! As the auxiliary units get worn out, we shall replace them with core units, rather than spend money repairing them. Troopers. I haven't got an anti-aircraft gun, so I can't do anything about that. Paratrooper ominously hovering around. Okay, I'm going to suggest that we can't actually get through there. At least, not without naval support. But I'm gonna move my navy to take this area and this area and then this area, so. Troopers are uh, quite strong. Got him. This thing has no no efficiency, so I guess it needs supply. What 
we got here? Mortar infantry. Huh, interesting. I guess for when you're not going to do any damage. Troopers on the run. Get him. Quite slow. It's gonna take like six turns for it to get up there, even if I don't shoot at anything. Okay, um... Marines are pretty good. Unfortunately, my, my tanks would trade pretty badly here. So many auxiliary units with almost no health. But that's fine. Man, naval units are actually dangerous in this game. you believe it? Okay, now they are, uh, now they're in full panic. Alright, and 
And just like that, the unit falls apart with minimum casualties. You know, interestingly, probably taking this and then coming round from behind and taking that is actually the better move. Let's not waste too much time bombarding this, although it is helpful because we need to move these marines up here to take whatever's there. And there's not a lot of time left. Wow. There's like 30 turns and still. Whoa. Enemy destroyer! Alright, this seems like a good moment to stop. Kill this. Leave some weak units behind just in case there's a flank. Just to alert me of the flank, really, not to actually stop the flank. Take these units. Clear this. Then clear this and this. And then this. We've still got loads of turns left, I think. Pretty reasonable number of turns. We do need to push up and take out this destroyer, though. He's out of torpedo range. Sad times. Well, I'm not really sure torpedoes do much to destroyers anyway. Since they're specifically designed to fight submarines. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.